like to thank everybody for coming today. And in a way, this month makes it special because it makes the 30th anniversary of my freedom because of people like yourself who free me. I'd like to point out one very special person who's not here today, but his, young, his older brother, Mr. Steve, uh, Mr. Hong Sun Young, is here. But his younger brother, Mr. Steve Hong, who has tried his best to direct me to live normally into society that I could not understand. Because I came out of prison with prison mentality without understanding what is freedom, what is freedom inside, what is the feel to freedom outside. Was justice fair? I never feel that justice ever be fair. This year, month alone, just two persons got exonerated here in their area. I believe one did like seven, eight years, another one did 27 some years through innocence projects. And almost every month we hear person uh, gets getting exonerated during 20, 30 some odd years. Where is the justice to? Not only the person to be released, but the families that who suffer. But please refuse to pursue the real killers, but continue to uh, put down the people they have framed. But once again, I like Mr. Steve Hong and Mr. Sun Hong Sun Yang, Mr. K. W. Lee, uh, Mr. Uh, Richard Lin, Grant Dean, uh, Mr. Derek. I mean, there's so many people want me to succeed in this life somehow. I'm trying to find that path of success for this. And I feel like the path is my own personal humanity that I could give. And hopefully I could do that through my own personal book, my interaction with my younger Asian Americans. So they could learn from what the elderly people came together with the younger Asian Americans and different Asian Americans to produce another committee like Vincent Chin's Defense Committee. So they allow open the door to say, you are united. You could be standing behind any injustice. What the gangs is doing, they have no control over it. But maybe we could work together to calm the uh, uh, gang violence and gang mentality, and how do we uh, guide these youngsters from young age uh, through, uh, through their uh, teenagers so they would be out of the gang age and be involved in a lot of community centers like JC Wasi back here, CYC, Korean Community Center, Tom Kim, Jeff Mori, Jeff, uh, yeah, Jeff Mori, and uh, Quite a Tom, uh, CYC. <laughs> anyway, there was, I mean, in the 70s, there was just a great explosion of Asian American uh, community centers. And that coincided with, uh, like, the, what <coughs> Grant mentioned with the elderly uh, 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 Korean harmonies, harabachis, and so forth, to work together for one cause. And to achieve, to achieve their cause, it took seven years out of their life. But I believe 
you feel very, very emotionally good that there, there is something that nobody said they could accomplish, but to accomplish the impossible. And American dream is the impossible. And I hope you will continue to pursue that dream of equality and achieve that dream of American dream. Thank you. Thank you.